The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top hidden details in DC's Blue Beetle trailer. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. For this list, we're looking at the biggest Easter eggs, plot points, and references we spotted during the preview of the Latino superhero's first live action movie. What part of the trailer surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Jaime's not the first Blue Beetle. What the? Host acquired. Who said that? Judging by the shocked looks of everyone in the trailer who sees Jaime in his super suit, Blue Beetle isn't exactly a household name within his universe. But while civilians may not have seen another hero like him, there are plenty of hints that he's inheriting the mantle from someone else. Jaime Reyes historically starts his career as Blue Beetle after the legendary inventor Ted Kord's tenure as the same hero ends. Over the years, there have been several reasons why the mantle gets passed on. Some stories see Kord go missing in action. I know I was short with you earlier, but there are things I'm not sure you're ready to deal with. What, you mean like the fact that there was a Blue Beetle before me named Ted Kord? Oh, yeah, and that's not all I found out. In other stories, the inventor unfortunately dies while on duty. While we don't know what happened to Kord in the live-action film, we do see Jaime enter his building in the preview. We also know that the scarab that grants the new hero his abilities was previously held by his predecessor. However, the biggest nods to Blue Beetle's past lie near the end of the trailer. Jaime is notably seen standing near a few super suits. Longtime comic fans immediately recognize that one of the vintage outfits is definitely one of Ted Kord's go-to uniforms. The other suit present looks like a prototype costume for the size-changing hero, Adam. Guys, I got him! It's, uh, it's me, Al, in case you didn't recognize me. That could hint that either Henry Winkler's senior Adam or Noah Centineo's new take on the hero are close to Ted Kord. Additionally, Jaime's family also rides in a strange flying ship. They're most likely in Ted Kord's famous aerial vehicle, Blue Beetle's Bug. It'll be exciting to see if we'll get to see the face behind all the inventions and outfits in the film. Triplog. A delicious Easter egg might lead to a major cameo. When Jaime's ally Jenny needs to get the powerful scarab out of Court Industries, she decides to hide it inside of an unsuspecting Big Belly Burger container. You went in to get us jobs, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? This restaurant name is a lot more important than it looks. First and foremost, Big Belly Burger is a huge staple of the DC Universe. After the restaurant first appeared in a 1988 Superman story, it became a go-to fast food spot for many superheroes. When the Arrowverse was just beginning to come to life in live action, the writers didn't hesitate to give Big Belly Burger a major shout-out. Hey, I'm gonna pick us up some Big Belly Burger right now. I'll see you later. The historic restaurant remained relevant in the DC Universe for many years. A futuristic hero named Booster Gold even shot a commercial for the fast food joint at one point. Since that particular DC character is typically very close with Blue Beetle, we wondered if the Big Belly container hinted at a big cameo. The Boostmeister. What's up, buddy? Ted! Dude, it's great to see you. I just saw you on Thursday. DC Studios bigwig James Gunn has also hinted that the time-traveling hero will get his own show in the near future. It'd be fitting if Booster Gold arrived in the past to shill burgers and befriend Jaime. Man, this place is even cooler than I thought! Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out! Villainy may be in the family. The scarab chose you. But it belongs to me. We were already pleasantly surprised to hear that the superb Susan Sarandon would have a significant role in this DC superhero film. But we were somehow more shocked to learn that she might be the movie's big bad, too. In the first trailer, it appears that her character is willing to do whatever it takes to get the scarab out of Jaime's hands. While it initially wasn't clear who she was, sources revealed that she's playing Victoria Cord. That means she's related to the former Blue Beetle. And I would love to do that. But now is not a good time. Is someone there with you? Uh, no one you know. I gotta run. I'll call you later. 
since the character just debuted for the first time in any medium in February 2023, even the most hardcore comics fans don't know much about her. If we combine what little we know about Victoria with the old Blue Beetle's history, we can take a guess at how events may play out. Maybe Ted Kord is actually dead in the live-action universe. We all miss the great Ted Kord, sir. No one more than me, Skeets. Maybe it's time we paid him a visit! And by visit, I assume you mean his memorial statue in Hub City Central Park? To take things a step further, he may have been killed by someone trying to get their hands on the scarab. Victoria may be so obsessed with going after Jaime because she wants to get revenge for her brother's passing. If Ted's death and the circumstances around it play out like we described, we're in for a tense and very personal conflict between a sibling in mourning and a hero trying to protect his family. Jenny? Guard the hybrid's new life, but do not open it. Jaime will face a nigh indestructible enemy. Victoria Cord isn't the only villain that Jaime Reyes will have to worry about. The low you feel for your family makes you weak. According to early reports, actor Raul Trujillo will play the role of Conrad Carapax, aka the Indestructible Man. The character originally discovered a lab full of powerful and extremely resilient robots in the comics. While exploring, Carapax's mind somehow got trapped within the body of one of the metallic creations. He decided to use this turn of events as an excuse to become evil. When Blue Beetle came to confront Carapax, it became clear that this new villain was as tough as a Terminator. Conventional weapons were not enough to slow the newly minted robot down. Although Blue Beetle was able to get away from Carapax by dropping the villain in the ocean, their rivalry didn't end there. The robotic antagonist returned multiple times to try to squash the hero. And at one point, Carapax even fought Superman. Jaime Reyes will have to pull out all the stops if he hopes to defeat this long-running Blue Beetle villain. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. The space scene was more important than it seemed. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. After Jaime bonds with the powerful bug in a sequence that would not look out of place in a horror movie, the two decide to go on a little trip out of the house. The duo almost immediately ends up in space. Oh, space. Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh. What is going on? While this may just look like a cool shot on the surface, we think there might be a much bigger reason that the trailer felt the need to include the scene. If you try to nail down the origins of the Blue Beetle Scarab by reading comics, you might get a serious migraine. Originally, everyone thought the bug was a magical item. However, it was later revealed that the Scarab actually came from beyond the stars. The alien artifact was originally meant to pave the way for a massive extraterrestrial invasion. At one point, Jaime and the Scarab are essentially mind-controlled and forced to serve the extraterrestrial race known as the Reach. Scarab, please! We fought side by side with these guys! Do something! I must do as design parameters dictate. But years after that origin was introduced, reports started circulating again that the Scarab was magic once more. There's still a chance that the bug could be magical in the movie. However, the fact that Jaime goes to space seems to be a major indication that the writers are sticking with an alien origin story. In the future, the Reach could show up and try to force Jaime to do their bidding in live action. We hope the new hero is prepared to fight back if that day comes on the big screen. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.